Howdy folks, ow, stubbed my toe on my freaking giant McCullough chainsaw because I forgot I was sitting there, but uh, anyway, howdy folks, <clears throat> they came in, yeah, the uh, the Whites, the Whites Sawyers, let me get y'all kind of set up here, make sure you're not zoomed out, but yeah, yeah, they came in. And my hands are greasy for some reason. I'm having trouble getting in here. But I like you're a little low. I'd say you are. Let's move you up. Let's get my big head in there. But yeah. They came in. We're just going to get into it. No need to beat around the box. Bush, bush box, whatever. Beat around the box here. But they came in, I've worn them for about three hours, maybe. They want to wear them too much. I kind of wanted them in the box for you, so you kind of get the, the feel for it. But uh, we're worn for about three hours. They're still clean. Yeah. We're going to say it's an unboxing. Here. Let me show you. I wore them just a, just a tad bit. There's some dirt and leaves in there. Look at that. White saw your steel toe. I don't like black, but I like these. Uh, first impression, I mean, tell you the truth. These things are freaking sick. And I've never had a good logging style boot with a full tread on it and a steel toe, but they're freaking sweet. Look at that. I'm, for, I mean, first impressions. These things are pretty dang awesome. And you're kind of looking at these going, well, those kind of look like smoke jumpers. Well, pretty much these things are look exactly like smoke jumpers. Y you can tell a few little subtle differences. Like, for instance, it's not screwed here. On your on your sole, you don't have the screws in here. Two, the welt is different. Uh, like they're they're stitched, stitched down. Don't get me to lying to you, but I mean overall, there's not a there's not a flaw. There's not a flaw on these things, really. I mean, there's no no weird stitches. Besides that. Soles look good. Stitches are good underneath there. This is a and this is another difference in the smoke jumpers and these. This is a Vibram midsole, where the smoke jumpers have a leather midsole. You know, still got a leather shank in it though, and they're about three hundred dollars cheaper as far as stock goes. Stock boot goes. Uh, and then yeah, I know, I know, they're not a sixteen inch packer. I, if I would have had the time, but I, I needed these pretty quick and I'm not going to get some junk red wing or something like that. Cause I, I have, I've had red wings and all kinds of other steel toe boots and they're just, they're junk. They don't last long. They last about six, seven months and then they're completely going pot. But other than that, these things are freaking sweet. And for the three hours I wore them. They felt pretty stinking good. Get, get this box out of the way. Because they ain't going to live their life in a box. I am going to keep the box because these are fully re... Yeah, they're resellable. They're not rebuildable, I don't think. That is a downside. But I paid for... The list price on whites is like 410 So... You're not gonna. You're not gonna break the bank of these, and which I needed them for work. But I am not used to steel toes, and I can't feel this cap. But I wore them for three hours, and they didn't rub. I had no rub, no pinky rub, or anything like that. And I was walking, you know, doing jiving like I normally do. 
but first impressions, I mean, these things are for 410 bucks plus tax. They're awesome. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I had a pair of Red Wing Irish Shedders. Irish Setters. That's about as steel toe logging as I've got. And these things beat the brakes off of that. I mean, look at that. Let's get you a close up there. We're gonna we're gonna have to switch those laces. Uh, I I prefer a leather lace, just because. Just because that's just me. But those things are those things are sweet. Anyway, uh, we're gonna put them on. And uh, here, here in about a month, once I get them broke in. Ugh, let's get you sit back up. Point, point you back down at them. Yeah, here in about a month, once I get these things finally broke in, uh, we're going to give you an honest review of about how they feel. Uh, but first impressions, like, first impressions, that's freaking awesome. And it's all leather, all leather insoles. Which I know probably can't see squat down there, but all leather insoles, well made. Yeah, they're heavier. They are. They are heavier. But I think these things are going to work great. And I'm going to get out here on the log and do some more log walks. You know. And I, this, this this is just me now noticing it. I'm not sure. But I think... I'll have to do some breeding, but I think that's a leather stacked heel. I think they still have a leather stacked heel on these things. That is awesome. Anyway, folks, there it is. There's the, there's the white Sawyers. It was a... Uh, I picked these off of... Uh, you know, look, looked at the site and everything, and then uh, Little Joe's Boots in Oklahoma City, he ordered them for me. He got them there within a week because I figured he could probably get them there faster than I could. Uh, he, he did me good justice on this. Got them in there, put a fit on it, put my kilties on it. I mean, I, I know I could do it myself, but that's freaking service right there. And... You can also get some white boot, boot, boot grease there. Boot heavy duty leather preservative. That's your all natural boot preservative, you know. And this, I mean, open offs, this, same thing. And you can get that there. If you're in the Oklahoma City area, go get you some of that. He'll, he'll set you up. They also have the leather oil for it too. That's, that's just my little shameless plug for them. Uh, Cause Joe, little, little Joe's boots is always doing me a, a I mean, they, they're, they're always hooking me up. Hook me up with these, the Packers. Uh, if you want a Rio's of Mercedes boots, they got, they got a thousand of them in there. Anderson being, so. But anyway, that's, that's your first look at them. We'll, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna beat the crap out of them here in the next month, or beat the crap out of my feet, so. Anyway, thanks folks. That's the White Sawyer in steel toe. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Because here in a month, you know, like I said, it's coming up again. So like and subscribe, comment, give me your thoughts. We're always learning. We'll see you on the next one, folks.